Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm Robin at Old Town Finds and um, wanted to go over uh, the last couple weeks worth of hauls. I was out of town, my family and I went down to see my mom on the coast of North Carolina and we stopped off at several thrift stops, Goodwills and um, places like that and I found some goodies. I will say that I was kind of disappointed because things are pretty pricey down that way um, comparatively to what I'm used to, but I did find some really cool deals. And one of my last stops was the kicker. And um, so um, let me share with you what I have found and what I think I can get, get for it. Um, and then also at the end, I think what I'm going to do, if I have time, I'm gonna put on what has sold. I did have a really good week this, um, well, it was about 12, 14, 12 days we were gone, sorry. Um, and I did very well while I was gone, even though I put my shop on eBay on vacation, as well as my Etsy shop I put in for a delayed shipping. Um, I still did very well. And um, so let's get to it. I'm very disappointed in one set. You know, I, I trusted them to wrap it, and we didn't rewrap it because I thought it was good enough, but man, I opened it up today before getting ready here and I had bought these really pretty, they're all different. All the same um, shape, came in a grouping of four, crystal, uh, cobalt blue, cut to clear, bohemian style, <laughs> uh, champagne flutes. And I had a fourth one. and. The fourth one broke off right at the base to the foot. I was sick. I paid $4 each for these. And I believe I can get anywhere between, I would say, 10 to 15 a piece. Maybe a little bit more. Um, but I was just really sick with it. My, you know, I hate losing stuff like that. And I, they, they packed it pretty well. And I don't know what happened, but it's just a shame made me really really sad they're very pretty and especially for the holidays I have to hurry up and get these things listed um, on that same line I found this cobalt blue cut to clear um, decanter still has the tape on it decanter and four small cordial wine goblets and I'm not really sure. Um, I believe this this is a newer. I'm not sure though. I believe it's newer. It just feels that way to me, and I could be wrong. But um, as much as I've handled it, this doesn't feel as like the same quality as the goblets. This is almost just more flashed. I mean, I know they usually. Um, it is kind of a flash glass. It's, this is just uh, the quality is is different. I don't um, I don't know what to say, but it's um, it's kind of a, a fade, like a light blue to a cobalt. And um, I have to do a little bit of looking on this, but I purchased this. I believe it was twenty dollars for the set for the decanter and the four goblets. And it's really quite dirty on the inside. I don't know what the heck's going on there. But it's very pretty for display. And I think I could double my money at least on this. So it's very pretty. And the next, these guys are kind of fun. Um, now at our first stop, we were, com this is when we made a pit stop. And we were in King, North Carolina. I have no idea where it was at. I kind of woke up from taking a nap in the in the car, and we were doing a pit stop. Found a strip mall that was um, had ample parking for us. We were to towing an RV with us, so we pulled in there and stopped into the antique store there mall, and um, I found just a few things that I, I liked. Anyway, I found a set of three. These are um, Napco wear, I believe. Yes, Napco wear. Now, I, ooh, 
I have two of the same almost and they are a little different. The face on this one is, is kind of lacking in the paint. Um, this one looks just more girly. And then, but the backs are the same, and they're both the same mold, you know, size and everything. And then it came with this sassy pants. Um, she's missing earrings. She had a uh, big um, pearl hanging uh, earrings. I might be able to do something with that, but I'm not sure. I might just sell as is since I have three. They usually come in a set of two, and I, I see them posed a lot like this, like this is the guy, this is the girl type thing. And um, But with the three, it almost looks like a little family, so it's kind of cute. And um, they're selling anywhere between... Ooh, that's right in front of you. Let's see. Um, I paid 15 for these, and they're going anywhere between 30 to 50 dollars, from what I see. I have not looked up soles, and I'm not too worried about. It. Like I said, I have three of them. One does have a boo boo on his nose right there, but it's not very noticeable. But to me, the way the faces are set is you got a mom and a dad. One has eyelashes, one doesn't. And then you have a teenage daughter. <laughs> Something like that. Um, so, yeah, those are kind of neat pieces. I'll put these guys down here. Okay, so we were down in Myrtle Beach and... I don't know what it is about purses. Ever since I filmed my first purse, I've been like looking at purses and kind of going nuts with it. But it's okay. And we'll try it, see how it goes. I did fi find this about 1960s, 1970s, made in Hong Kong. There is no uh, brand name title to it. The only thing I do see on here, and I might be able to get it out, is a little bit of discoloration right there. And. It actually comes through to the front too. I don't know. It just has some. I bought this for $4.99 at Salvation Army in Myrtle Beach. And I mean, overall, it's pretty clean. There are a little bit of stains in it, but um, the chain is in really good condition. It's beaded to match the beads. I kind of remember this when I was a kid. Uh, growing up for like Easter and stuff like that um, for Sunday church and stuff and it, that's what it reminded me of it's just like a cute little Easter summertime springtime bag so I'm thinking I could at least double my money provided that I'm able to get those stains out and I mean I've seen these purses um, go they're like 20 on Poshmark right now um, same style chain handle um, shoulder chain <clears throat> and uh, there, like I said, there's no maker. So, but anyway, um, I think I'll, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll be able to at least double to triple my money on this. So, can't complain with that. Oh, uh, this is a cute guy. I'll put this down here to go along with my poodle theme. I have found this guy. Now, it's a uh, black patent leather style, and it is a Harvey's, and it's a sequined poodle with her little bag, strutting her stuff, uh, Frenchie is, is written there, and then it has this Eiffel Tower. There are a couple little gems that are missing on her leash. Um... And she needs to be cleaned very badly. But I can handle that. So the the um, la open latch is just a like a, a hinged release. And it needs to be vacuumed out. It's kind of old. But it's it's pretty. It has a a red zipper uh, side pocket and another slide side. I paid $3.99 for this at Salvation Army, same place in uh, Myrtle Beach. And 
I think I could probably do 20 to 30 on this. Okay, and then, let's see. Oh, we were down in Myrtle Beach um, that same day. We hit a bunch of um, shops, and I found this really, and you know what? I'm so trying not to do stemware. And all I do is get attracted to stemware. I'm like, I'm insane. I got a set of eight. These are pretty. No well. They're um, Crystal de Arc. And they're very, very pretty. These come in like, I think, green and red. I got a set of eight of red. Um, so these I have to get up like now. They are just so pretty though. And they're all in really good shape. They're a little dusty from sitting out on display for a while. But um, for like a set of two, I saw them go anywhere between $20 to $60 for a set of two. I have eight. So I'm going to have to really kind of look and see a little bit closer on the um, on the uh, soul items to see if, you know, what's more realistic. I was just looking at, you know, what's active um, just to kind of give me an, an idea. Ooh. And then, oh, I don't, you know, you see something you've had. I've dealt with this one um, particular crystal maker um, quite a bit. And I am um, surprised I didn't recognize it. This is a Hofbauer German crystal, a little pitcher. And the reason I grabbed it, and I mean, Hofbauer is nice. It's, it's a little bit more new, uh, modern. But it's definitely nice, and it's a nice quality, heavy piece. Um, the reason I grabbed this, I think I paid ten dollars for it, nine dollars for it. Um, is it has a dragon? Now you may have heard of, um, may have, if you if you collect crystal or anything, Hofbar does the birds. They have like um, cranberry flashed medallions. And then they'll have a couple of birds. Same kind of design though. Um, but this one, I have not seen the dragons. And this one runs about anywhere between $60 to $80. So I'm very tickled to find it, found that. And it's just a really cool piece. A lot of dragon collectors out there. And um, it fits a lot of, it, it is very oriental, but um, it's really cool. I mean, yeah. So, let's see. Um, this guy. This is a bisque, um, plant like vase. And I definitely have to research him. I I just started pulling things out. I wanted to get a video out because I feel like I've been out of touch for so long. Um, I tried looking at my uh, shop with me, thrift with me videos, and quite frankly, my photography skills are lacking. So back to this. This is a bisque um, planter. It almost looks like a um, what do you call it, like a, a catch vase or something. You know that they, they would put underneath um, when they're dealing with wax candles and stuff. Um, just the way it's set up. But it's too, I think it's a little too large. It might be. I have to look, research it a little bit better. And there's no marks on it. There's an old sticker residue that could be like a garage sale sticker. I don't know. Um, but his face just looks so, it's so well done. And um, I just have a feeling about this piece. I think it will be, the color is nice and vibrant too, so it could be newer. I don't know. Um, but he is bisque and he's pretty. And I would hope, it, if, you know, if I were just to stick it on today, I would hope to get about 30 to 40 for him. So, and I think he's worth that. No issues. And he does not feel cheap to me. Um, please remember to like, to like and subscribe and hit that little bell at the bottom so you're notified. Um, I'd appreciate that and it would help a lot. So, um, okay. 
this I picked up it, and it looks familiar to me because I've dealt with uh, Fastoya and Imperial and um, oh, uh, Ellie Smith also made the pink opalescent glass. Um, I'm not sure who this is. I'm not sure if it's new. I don't know, but I um, got it for a pretty cheap. I think I paid... I don't know if it's on this receipt over here or not. Yes, I paid $18.50 for it. And um, I got this also in um, King, North Carolina, our first stop that we made. And it's large. I'd say it's about 14 inches tall or so, maybe 16, maybe more. And uh, hold on, I'll let you know. It's 15 at its highest. So, um, anyway, it has pretty lines and it has the opalescent stretch in here. And these are called swung vases. They take the glass and they swing them out until they get the desired uh, height. And they could start off as a goblet and, or, uh, um, like a tumbler and then they swing them while they're hot to create this long stretch so um, but they're called swung not stretch so it's very pretty very large very eye-catching and again I have to do a little bit more research on it I would say though my gut on that would be probably about forty fifty dollars and at $50, I'd be closer to with shipping because I, I do all my listings on Etsy with free shipping. The next thing, I kind of overpaid for these, but I don't care. They're kind of cool. If I don't make much, a lot on them, that's okay. I paid $3.99 a piece, but I like carousel stuff, so I don't know. I'm a sucker for... I, I should have looked before I bought them, but they're Lennox, and it's the Spice Carousel, 1993. And I have three of them. I have the bay leaf, the celery salt, and the clove. And I think realistically I could probably at least double my money on them. And um, maybe not quite, almost. And there would be good replacements or starter for someone. This is kind of a cool piece here. This is signed A. Gianelli. It's made in Italy. It is alabaster on a marble stand. And it's just it's just so pretty. The, the blanket on it is just very, I don't know if you can see that detail. It's lovely. I wouldn't mind keeping this myself. And it has the trunk up, so that's kind of nice. I paid $5.99 for this. I believe we were at Salvation Army in Myrtle Beach where I got this one. And it does have the little foil sticker. It is also dated, which is wonderful. I wish everything was dated. Um, it is 1979. Uh, it's also signed A. Gianelli and then Italy. So it makes life easier when everything's on there. Um, they're online now. I see one active, and again, I haven't pulled sold, so you know to get a really fair picture. There's one on there for thirty, and then one for eighty-nine. Um, I'd be happy with forty, forty-five, with uh, included shipping. He is a little weighty, so um, I'd be fine with that for a six-dollar investment. Okay, and then I got this big guy, and I got this at, I want to say the first Salvation Army we went to, too. They had a lot of glass, and it was really hard to see the prices on it. They had, like, the flashed Indiana glass diamond point. Um, it was pretty expensive, and I was not impressed. Um, but they were, so um, anyway, I was kind of surprised to find this. Um, some people call it like a honey honey pot, honey jar, um, or a honey dish, and then um, we would use it for candy. 
it is uh, cut and it is a nice quality it is crystal and it's pretty it is that and I would not normally have paid this much for this I paid $8.99 it's in great condition it is footed obviously and it's a pretty shape I mean it's different um, I have one around here I don't know where it went to it's a little um, it doesn't have the nice tall finial on it um, this also has some um, cut out flowers with the um, their frosted flowers and a lot of pretty design I would expect realistically about 45 for this it is cut it is nice um, I'll have to do some research on it I didn't even look it up um, because I know with my other cut clear pieces I've gotten pretty good uh, money for them um, and this is a heavy piece so the shipping on it I, I, I might even go up to 50 because the shipping on it is going to be a little bit to absorb in that price so it's a great piece though and that's another one I was I wouldn't mind having in my cabinet but I can't um, it's it is a card um, suit set of personal ashtrays and they're in the original box and I just realized right now they're made in Czechoslovakia the box is marked so each one has like the little, should have some kind of, no, this one has a little bit of dip. That one has the notch. Um, you could use these as nut trays, you can, or whatever, you know. They're just really kind of cool. They're very collectible. So, and, and again, they're in their original box. It makes a, I, cool. I love finding an original box. Made in Czechoslovakia. Yay! That I paid five dollars for the set. I think I could probably get 25, 30, maybe 35 with shipping in the original box. They're um, listed typically about 20, 25. So if they were in color, I think the ones that are in color, not the newer ones, but the older ones, like the amber glass and such, I think those go a little higher in value than just the clear. But I got the original box, which doesn't mean a whole lot to a lot of people, but it, it, it is it is a very cool thing to have. Um, some people do care, you know. So anyway, I think that would be you know, realistically about 30, 35. Okay. Nothing else up here. Okay. Alright, so I found these handled little serving dishes. I'll have to look them up. They do have the arrow mark. Um, they have they have wire on them right now. Like they somebody attached a wire to hang on the wall as a display plate. They are transfer. I believe. I believe this is transfer. And then this is both. This has both. This has transfer flowers. And then there is like a enamel on top to give it some highlight. And then the floral vintage is hand painted with an enamel base in gold. And they, like I said, they both have the crossed arrows. And I, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look those up. I'm thinking, okay, I paid $4.99 a pair for each one. I'm thinking I could at least double that. I would say $12 to $15 maybe a piece. And higher if, they're, if that mark is actually a mark worth anything. Um, that was it. I, I found those. Also, sorry, I disappeared. Um, I found those also at Goodwill. All these plates here are coming from Goodwill. They did have a neat collection. Looks like somebody's uh, collection was donated of some historical and older plates. So it was kind of cool. 
this is um this is very southern um it's shiloh national military park and it has general albert sydney johnson southern army on the march and of course i was down in south carolina so it would make sense so but um i like the historical the civil war the um anything to do with our history as a nation i find it very fascinating very interesting and um i know there's a lot of collectors out there this was a dollar 99 and it was made um there's something on here made exclusively for the united daughters of Con of the confederacy california division by vernon kills uh usa now that's very interesting that might be a little bit more worthy than your typical you know transfer wear historical plates so I really don't know what to think about it it was a dollar 99 like I said and um, it could go up to about $20 I don't know could be worth 12 I don't know so um, but there is there is a really neat little history on the back there and I'll have to read that later I just pulled this out of the box to show you okay and I love birds and I love Czechoslovakian artwork all their stuff is just not all of it but a lot of it very pretty and this says Eden and I don't know I'm assuming that's maybe the pattern I'll have to look up this maker. I'm not familiar. Excuse me. I'm not familiar with that mark. But it's a nice, nice uh, sided plate. I think it's what octagonal, and it has the exotic birds, like on cherry blossom or something. Very pretty. $2.99 for that plate. I'm thinking I could probably do, t again, 12 to 15 maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. Depending on the maker. And that's without shipping. Um, here's another historical plate. Um, this one is um, Louisiana. All the uh, historical sites. It has Louisiana State University, um, the, let's see, Capitol, the mansion, Governor's Mansion, Courthouse, and stuff on there. And again, this is made by that same company. This is Baton Rouge, capital of Louisiana, made ex expressly for Ryder Jewelry Company by Vernon Kilns, USA. So I will need to look up, you know, the... Uh, writer jewelry to see if they're still in business and what kind of history. Um, I think these plates are kind of fun. So, especially when they're made exclusively or expressly just for a company. Because um, some people remember that growing up or, you know, pictures of it in the background. And, you know, there's usually somebody out there who will have a tie or a connection to that. And so it's kind of a neat piece of history. For them to have and collect. Now, out of that store, other than the elephants, I think this is the neatest piece. We had just we went to quite a few uh, museums and historical homes down there, and I saw one of these that were very very similar. I believe this is probably 1870s to maybe early early 19, uh, 1900s. But I want to say this is probably 1800s. Um, it is oriental of design. It is a shallow bowl, almost a serving bowl, and or a centerpiece bowl. Has quite a bit of crazing in it. Um, the design is floral with like bamboo and the birds. Almost like you're looking at a garden. And then it has, uh, I guess it would be the tapestry, tapestry, of like a cover, like um, 
like a, um, oh, I can't think, sort of like a tent cover, you know, a cover, but it's a design. And um, I saw one of these, though, in one of the uh, museums, and it was dated, I think, 1860s, 1850s, 1860s. And I got really excited because it had the same kind of backside marks. And like I said, this thing's crazed. Another thing, I, I usually... It helps me identify a very older porcelain stoneware or pottery are the edges. It's like been well used and um, you, the glaze is kind of starting to come off a little bit. Not much, but it is definitely for the age. There are some pot marks in there. Um, and again, just a lot of crazing. Some people don't like the crazing, but hey, with the age of things and where they're exposed, from the heat cold and being put down too hard sometimes they're gonna have it um, I paid 99 cents for this at Goodwill like they mark things up crazy and then something that's just obviously worth more than 99 cents is 99 cents I'm thinking this is probably gut on this 30 to 50 dollars and that's a gut without doing research. I haven't looked this up. I just pulled it out of the box. Um, and that's going to be, I think, a conservative um, estimate on that. Just because, uh, like I said, I <laughs> it's old. And it's it's a pretty large piece to have made it this long. I think, I, I think it's pretty incredible. So... <laughs> It's a good 99 cents. It kind of makes up for a lot of things that I, you know, paid a little bit too close on, in my opinion. Okay, this guy, guys, I, I okay, between purses and artwork, I haven't listed one thing of artwork yet. Nothing. And I gotta stop until I get some listed, because I have some that I've, I've picked up along the way on auctions and stuff like that, and I haven't listed one thing. And I think it's just because... I like to look at it and the daunting idea of having to ship it, which is not really that difficult. You just cut down a box and make it happen, but still, it's, it's, I haven't listed anything. This is kind of cool. I did pick this up at Goodwill at Myrtle Beach. And I don't know how old it is. And... It's a nice print. It is signed Andrew or Andrea something. I'll have to look that up. But it's a cool jazz band. And my son plays the viola. So when I see stuff, and I used to actually, I took the saxophone lessons. But um, over here. And my younger brother did the trumpet. My brother plays a guitar, so we have a musical family. I liked it. I thought it was kind of cool, kind of neat in uh, an Italian style kitchen, you know, or wherever. It was pretty cool. I paid four ninety nine for that, and honestly, I don't know yet. I would suspect I probably frame is in overall condition. There's a couple spots that looks like dirt though. Um, and I don't know the age, so I'm thinking I could probably get $15 at least, at least, plus shipping. Um, but again, I have to look it up. It could be worth more than that. So, and that's it, guys. I think that's the majority of everything I've gotten. Um, and I think at the length of this video, I might have to do the, uh, solds at the, um, on the next, on maybe a separate video altogether. So I appreciate you stopping by and um, being patient with me. Um, again, thank you. And please remember to like and subscribe below. And I will see you the next time around soon. Bye.